let's suppose that uh, there is topic A with multiple partitions and all partitions are spread among different brokers. And every partition has already some messages. When a specific producer connects to Kafka cluster and wants to produce messages, it can write messages to different partitions. And in this diagram you see that producer writes message with offset number 2 to partition 0, then it writes message with offset number 1 to partition 1, and it writes one more message with offset number 2 to partition 2. And that's pretty acceptable. Every producer may produce messages to different partitions of specific topic. Also, you can set up it in such a way that it will write only to specific partition, in case if you will use key with all messages. And usually all messages with the same key will be written to the same partition. But if you don't supply this key, then messages will be spread in a round-robin fashion across all partitions in specific topic. But main idea here is that new messages will be added only after existing messages. And for example, if producer will produce one more message to partition 1, then this message will get offset number 2, and so on. Existing messages with numbers 0 and 1 are immutable and producer, any producer is not able somehow to change those messages. They are again immutable. That's the main idea behind creation of messages inside of every partition. And again, notice that every partition must have unique offset numbers of all messages. And the first offset number is 0. So in partition 0, first message has offset number 0 and so on. That's idea behind the writing messages to different partitions. And of course, you may have multiple producers that will write messages to the same topic, to the same partitions in parallel. Ok, let's now proceed and next uh, let's review how consumers may consume messages from specific topic. So, see you next. Bye.